Hello, hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Wild Side Chat. Today we are going to be talking about Berry Blade. Berry Blade is an item which deals three attack or has three attack and reads restore HP to front ally equal to damage dealt. So one thing I'll point out again is this is the restore keyword. Restore means it heals up to the target's max HP. In this case, the target would be the front ally. Regardless of who this is targeted on, this will heal the front ally. Um, I will say one thing that's really important to point out is this healing is is the potential... It, this heals for the potential damage that you would have dealt. So even if a target is at 1 HP and you only, quote unquote, do 1 damage to it, it perceives it as doing 3 damage and thus you will gain 3 HP on your front ally still. Also, when there are mobs or bosses particularly that cover both spaces, you know, they, they cover um, two, two spaces up and down. If you use a berry blade on that, it'll heal um, the front ally in both rows, which can be very, very important in some cases, such as the bamboozle fight, the infernoco fight, um, the truffle fight, things like this. Um, this gains a lot of value. So I'd say one thing is on-demand healing is good. It is nice to, and three is a pretty fair value. We've talked about berry basket um, and sort of some of the problems with restoring um, in general, as well as the positioning requirements that go along with things like berry basket because of barrage. This also has positional requirements, but it is different. This positional requirement just forces you to put a unit in the front that you want to get healed. And whether or not you attack an ally or you attack um, an enemy, and you, you might attack an ally to sacrifice in Shademancer's case, sometimes this is very useful as a sniping tool um, in Shademancer, so you should keep that in mind as well. You can use this to snipe and it'll still heal your front ally. Additionally, you can use it, of course, on enemy back lines or enemy front lines, enemy anything. Uh, to do a little bit of extra damage. Now, one thing to also note here is Berry Blade scales. Berry Blade's healing obviously scales with its damage. In the similar similar case of Azul Battle Axe, you're sort of getting double effectiveness out of adding damage to this card. So things like Battle Charm are get pretty interesting. Things like Demonize as well. Um, if you're doing double damage to it, you actually uh, would heal six in the base case. If something is demonized, I forgot to mention that in the Azul Battle Axe video. I mentioned it in the description, but it's something to keep in mind for sure. These are sort of the things that start aiding in uh, the synergies with Fairy Blade. So when you see, hey, I have demonized, I have Demona, or, or something like this, or a demonized leader, and I see Fairy Blade, suddenly Neuron should start firing a bit. This this has increased value. You have a Battle Charm, you put it on this, increased value. You could put Flame Water on this. Bam, increased value. Things like this. Just things to keep in mind. I would say this is a good default pickup. This card, regardless of what's going on in your deck, I would say this card is pretty solid early and into the mid game. I think healing is quite valuable. I think the damage is quite valuable. And the fact that it does both and sort of has that um, that bonus is, is, is quite good. Um, so this is when I talk about things being by default good, I talk about them in the base case. And the base case being you have a fresh deck or a fairly fresh deck. This card is pretty valuable. It's going to do some damage and do some healing for you, which can be quite good early. Um, and you don't necessarily need to put any resources in it to be fine. Uh, later stages of the game, you might not need this. Um, it's very likely you have another form of defense or another form of offense and this card gets a little bit less appealing. Although there are cases where you know you're going to be needing, needing to heal your front line a bit more. Um, and this could still be viable heading into the late game, especially if you have things that benefit from healing, especially so things like Berry Sis, things like Little Berry likes healing. Um, basically, efficient users of healing are going to like this even more. And if you can increase the damage of this, then yeah, you're just increasing the value of this. So um, I think that 
about covers it. I quite like this early, quite like this early to mid game. Um, very happy to see this. I think it can easily aid you in the earlier fights um, and keep you alive and help you snipe things. Uh, it's a good source of damage, a good source of healing. And it's, I'd say it tapers off as the game goes on, but can still be solid, can still be a good pickup, can still be a necessary pickup later in the game if you're not finding these other defensive solutions. But definitely is, I would say it's, it's less likely to be a key factor as the game progresses. Anyway, thanks so much for watching as always. I hope you appreciate it. Feel free to leave any feedback on how you feel about this card, how you agree or disagree. Um, as well as any interactions I may have missed, uh, just feel free to point that out. Thanks so much, and have a wonderful rest of your day.